Okay, here we are. The Memories of Martha's Vineyard. Here's the book. It's by uh, Matt Taylor. Uh, he also, if I'm not mistaken, he did the one for Metallica. Uh, he did their, their book that they did. So this is a really neat book. If you grew up with this movie, like I have, um, it's kind of neat to see. And we're going to be kind of just kind of going through the photos and everything on it, just kind of talking about it. Really mostly just sharing my experiences uh, with this movie. There's, of course, one of my favorite actors of that time, Roy Scheider. I think he's such an underrated actor. You got Robert Shaw there. You know, trying to make this so that the glare doesn't kill you. Maybe uh, put, a, put another book behind it. Maybe that'll work. There. There we go. There. Prop it up a little bit. Get the glare out of your eyes. Ben Gardner. There the... Uh, and now, interesting thing was uh, they hired a lot of the people off the, the coast there, or the uh, Martha's Vineyard that they used for this. And so... And here's a cool one. Look, there's the head that scares Hooper when he's down there in the water. Of course, there you got uh, the sketches and stuff they're doing. But I, when I was uh, very young, I, my, grandma, my grandma bought this uh, on videotape. And we watched it many, many times, perhaps way too many times. So let me see if I can get you a better, uh, better look at this thing here. Raise the camera up just a tad. I want you to see. There we go. See more of the book here. Now you can freeze it on anything you want to. There's that infamous sign that they had there. But when we uh, watch this tons and tons of time, and growing up on an island, it's certainly uh, very interesting to imagine the going in the water. <laughs> and I heard that uh, during a movie that was uh, that's a real shark. That was a real tiger shark that they brought in for this. <laughs> and uh, in the islands, uh, the tiger shark is certainly uh, one to be feared. There's uh, the Kidner uh, Kidner uh, boy, Alex Kidner's mother. He's the first one to get or the one the major one that they witness to get. Now the orca is really cool. Always love the way this boat looked. There it is. This book is, or this boat is just really cool. Now I kind of want to get to, I know I'm going to kind of throw through this fast. I don't want to make, you know, we wouldn't have time to really spend with the entire book. We just kind of want to go through it and just kind of show there's a lot of this cool stuff. Um, the really cool pages or photographs is stuff like here where they got the fin and you can see kind of the the way they were laying out the the shark model and the guy that helped design the shark was um, the guy that did it for did the uh, effects and stuff for 20,000 leagues under the sea and what have you I'm not a you know crazy uh, student history on the movie I mean just people that are fanatics about it could tell you a lot more than I I will ever know but there's the orca. This is stuff I picked up over the time and you know, kind of knew of it. That's kind of interesting. What that is. And of course, the, the key thing about all this was the shark didn't work most of the time. And that's actually a key to the movie's success. Uh, the fact that uh, a, a happy mistake wound up being something that worked out for the better for them. And uh, there's a funny page in here. And I don't know if we'll run across it. But there's a funny page that talks about some stuff here. I actually did. I want to make sure we don't uh, accidentally pass it. Because I want to read the little, uh, the little insert on it. Because it's I, I thought it was hilarious. There's that infamous drawing right there. You're going to need another boat. <laughs> Here's some cool stuff we're getting into here. There's the shark, Bruce. And they, uh, 
they were talking about the jowls that he had. That was actually to hide the hinges and stuff in the mouth. This movie is still frightening to me. Very much so. So, look at that thing. Let's see if we can uh, try not to have the light so much on the pages. I guess we're not going to be able to help it much. But there's the hole. Maybe they, uh, maybe they, they were uh, desired. Maybe I don't know. I heard they they bought the boat. They had two of them, so they had to have built it. Look at that. That's a neat picture. He's inside the the mouth of the thing. There's another. Yeah, that. But yeah, I, uh, going to the beach was definitely kind of out for me once I saw this too many times. And um, some people are they. I remember them telling me they were so. Oh, because you don't like the beach now because of the the movie Jaws and that ruined you and blah blah blah. That's a matter of an opinion. I never was really a a, a crazy beach person, even though living on an island. But I never really was crazy about the beach. Anyhow, I guess growing up there and being raised there is kind of different than somebody that just moved over there. There's Pippet, the dog, but it was good times. Uh, you know, I, do I miss the island? Yeah, of course. Here's all them on the beach. Interesting, yeah, it's kind of like Donovan's Reef with, uh, you know, Hey, get everybody together. Let's take a vacation and film a movie while we're out there. What does this say? Here, look at that. The water was just filled with blood after each take. They had to wait at least an hour for all of it to clear away. Um, I guess that's from the, the Kidner boy uh, killing death in the movie. I apologize if the video is not the greatest, but I just wanted to kind of show you the book because it is a neat book. This is actually the first time really I've gotten to truly kind of go through it. There's the, uh, the gal in the beginning that scared me greatly. There they uh, tied her up, uh, the, the suit that they tied her with, and um, they were just pulling her left uh, all over the place on cables to simulate the attack. Here it is. This is the funny one. This is the, there's Roy Scheider sunbathing. And it says right here, it's uh, the uh, Stephen and some of the crew were discussing a problem they were having with Roy Scheider continually to lay out in the sun. Roy Scheider had a type of skin that tanned really easily, so the shots and sequences weren't matching each other often from day to day uh, because he was getting darker and darker. <laughs> that is just hilarious. And if you notice that if you follow, if you're a Roy Scheider uh, kind of a guy, you know, like his movies, you have noticed that after Jaws, Roy Scheider had retained a heck of an awesome tan throughout his career. <laughs> so here's the shark sinking or There's all the shark stuff. So if you're interested in this book, it's not bad if you're a fan of the movie. It's not a bad uh, thing. It's, a, it's pretty cool. It's very interesting. You got a lot of the photos of the shark, um, them going through. The uh, little shark cage that they made. We'll leave it at that one. There you go. That one's for Santee. <laughs> so there it is. Jaws, Martha's Vineyard, Memories.